Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel. Just back with a little update on the heat pump fiasco, as I call it. And we've done a few videos on heat pumps and we've had a lot of response from people. It's been tremendous. Some people saying they love heat pumps, they're the best thing since sliced bread. Other people saying they're a complete disaster. And I just felt a little bit like a voice in the wilderness with it. And I was starting to think, well, am I right or am I wrong about this? Are heat pumps perhaps a good idea? And I've just been, you know, got a jaundiced view of them because I've done a few what you might call unsuccessful installations and the only reason they've been unsuccessful is because they haven't heated the house properly and they've cost a fortune to run and people say that's your fault you're the installer but I have actually been working to engineers designs on them so all I've been doing is following the drawing and doing what they've asked me to do so I stand not guilty on that front I got the Daily Telegraph and I saw on the front page heat pumps are costing a third more to run than gas boilers. So all those people who are saying that heat pumps are cheaper to run than gas boilers and uh, you should junk out your gas boiler, which is what the government is proposing you do and they're giving grants of £5,000 towards it. This article by an independent body from the Energy and Utilities Alliance, a trade body that has carried out the analysis on off-gen figures and has come up with the answer that it's going to cost you several hundred pounds more to run a heat pump every year than it is to run a gas boiler. And that's not taking into account the price rises which are about to happen. Now, I'm thinking that this is a massive disaster, basically, for the government. You know, let, let's forget about parties in Downing Street and other things. This is going to be very, very difficult for them. And I'm not saying it's anything to do with this particular government because it probably would have happened with whichever government we had, these price rises are going to take place and they're going to put a lot of people into fuel poverty. People are going to have to choose not only just between heating and eating, but between freezing and starving. You know, it's that starker prospect for a lot of people. They just cannot find the money to pay the bills. So what I'm saying to Boris, what I'm saying to the government is perhaps in the light of this, you didn't know about this when you first introduced this idea of subsidising people's heat pumps now you know that we're in this crisis maybe it's the time to just stall just hold back from offering those five thousand pound grants to householders to take out gas boilers and putting heat pumps because if they're going to cost them several hundred pounds more to run every year which is the figures here it's not my figures it's their figures that's what they've come up with then i think it's probably time that they just thought again and you know if this is an idea for the future if this is something that we want to do then maybe let's look at two or three years down the line we've had a terrible time with covid we've got massive debt in the country we've all got to get ourselves back on our feet and throw in money at heat pumps which are going to be unsuccessful installations and cause a lot of misery for a lot of people I think is just the wrong solution we had this with the previous initiative with the green deal with the the grants that they gave out and all these other things like the renewable heat incentive which is coming to an end and they've all proved to be an absolute disaster the green deal the government body the bank that was actually set up to lend the money to householders actually in the end went bankrupt it had to be bailed out by the government to the tune of 23 million pounds so they've got a very very bad track record of running these schemes anyway and i'm saying just pull back leave it because i'm not convinced that heat pumps offer the kind of carbon savings that people are talking about because when you look at the cost of installation when you look at all the people running around ferrying heat pumps around running backwards and forwards and all the inherent problems that we've got with servicing them because we do not have enough trained service engineers out there at the moment then all these things would suggest to me that maybe if this is an initiative that the government is hell-bent on pursuing then at least just leave it for two or three years till we've settled down and we've got a few of these other problems behind us and hopefully the fuel bills will start to drop slightly and the other thing I've got to say just before I go is that the insulate Britain thing I was never a fan of the way that they went about that gluing themselves to motorways and all the rest of it bringing the country to a standstill was not a good idea but I think that there is some merit in that argument that what we have to do if we've got that five thousand pounds is put it into the homes of 
people that have got badly insulated homes and could do with upgrading their insulation. That way we will save carbon, not just for today, but for the foreseeable future. For the next 20, 30, 40 years, we will be saving on the carbon outputs simply by increasing the insulation. I think that the Insulate Britain movement has done itself a disservice. They've discredited it in some ways, because if you bring up the subject of insulation now, people just think, oh, you're one of those nutcases, are you? But I would say that they did have a point. They do have a point, and that that's probably where, if there's any government money to be spent, that's where it ought to be spent. Leave the people who want to put in heat pumps to put in heat pumps to pay for it themselves because what they're proposing is a grant which is going to give another 30,000 installations a year. That's what they're predicting. There are already 30,000 installations a year. So what I'm asking is, is it going to create an extra 30,000 installations a year or is it just going to give the money to those people who are going to have heat pumps anyway and can probably afford it? There is a moral argument to be made made. Should poor people be paying for middle class, well-meaning, save the planet people to install heat pumps in their house? Should they be subsidising it? Should it be paid for out of our taxpayers' money? Or should they be paying for it themselves? Now, a lot of people have said, look, you've got to prime the pumps, you've got to get this thing moving, and it needs a government subsidy to get it moving. But I argue with that. I don't think that if you've got successful technology, which is proven to save money and save the planet, I don't think you need to subsidise it at all because I would have it tomorrow. I would go down to my local building society, draw out some of my savings and install a heat pump if it were a compelling proposition. But again, I say it's not. It just isn't the time, it isn't the place, and the thing we've got to do is insulate our houses. I'm Roger Bisbee, sorry that turned into a rant again, didn't it? Why do I get so excited? I don't know, I'm going to go for a lie down in a dark room. See you again soon.